Hey, you welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are comparing and contrasting some of the top fintech stocks to buy right now. In this video, we're going to be comparing stocks like SoFi Technologies, Coinbase, Robinhood, Upstart, as well as Affirm. So if you hold or are thinking about buying into any of these stocks, remember to go and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, don't forget to become a member of this channel for as little as 9 99 cents per month because that's what keeps me here on YouTube and with all of that being said let's jump right into today's stories. To start off the video we're going to do a quick synopsis of each of these companies before we start to compare and contrast them starting off with none other than SoFi Technologies. SoFi essentially operates as a digital bank to where they offer their customers an all-in-one inclusive financial fintech app that provides things such as lending products or services, investing products or services, banking and and credit card services, as well as checking accounts, savings accounts, student loan refinancing, and many other things. Next up, let's talk about Coinbase, ticker symbol C-O-I-N, ticker name COIN, and this is a gigantic cryptocurrency exchange where you can buy and sell cryptocurrencies. You can also stake your cryptocurrencies on this platform, as well as learn about cryptocurrencies to receive cryptocurrency, which is phenomenal news, and if you didn't know, cryptocurrencies are essentially digital assets which do something or have some sort of utility, in which they can be either used as tender, or they actually do something electronically for you in the real world. Coinbase is currently the second largest cryptocurrency exchange across the globe based on a trading volume, trading right behind the number one cryptocurrency exchange by volume, which is Binance. However, what separates Coinbase from their competition, such as FTX, Celsius, Voyager, and BlockFi, is their strong security infrastructure. Also, companies like FTX, Celsius, and Voyager, to my knowledge, have all experienced extreme financial hardships. And as these other companies go out of business or file for bankruptcy, this is just going to make Binance and Coinbase even stronger. Next up, we have Robinhood, ticker symbol H-O-O-D, ticker name Hood, which is a financial services company that operates a commission-free trading platform for investing. So if you want to invest into stocks, and they even have some cryptocurrencies on there, you can go on their platform platform and trade these particular assets literally for free. And Robinhood has essentially changed the investment landscape, which overall was very good news. Next up, we have Upstart, ticker symbol UPST, which is a company that operates a lending platform which utilizes artificial intelligence, also known as AI, as well as machine learning, which can be abbreviated as ML, to essentially estimate somebody's credit worthiness. So if you want to borrow money, but you have a low credit score to where traditional banking institutions will not give give you money, Upstart will assess your unique situation and scenario with their artificial intelligence platform to determine your actual credit worthiness, which will estimate the overall risk and potential of you paying back your overall loan. And then lastly, we have Affirm, which is a leading buy now, pay later company which allows its users to pay for a product over time instead of immediately. And the firm has already partnered with major e-commerce leaders such as Amazon as well as Shopify. So if you want to buy a $10,000 boat, you may be able to pay for this boat at $1,000 increments over 10 months. And that's what a firm does. So now let's compare and contrast all of these companies. In this video, we will not be talking about Block, PayPal, Mercado Libre, or other phenomenal companies like that. We are going to go for the more risky companies here with far greater upside potential on a percentage basis, according to some. So let's compare and contrast SoFi, Coinbase, Robinhood, Upstart, as well as Affirm. So let's get right into it after you annihilate that like button right now for more videos just like this one. There's no denying over the past few years that the market environment has been exceedingly difficult for fintech stocks and especially fintech companies like the ones we've already mentioned. And this would be due to the rising interest rate environment that has weighed down both companies companies as well as their stocks. Now what's unique about each of these companies is that they all have set out to revolutionize a particular aspect of the financial industry, but things have been exceedingly tough. For instance, SoFi suffered through their student loan moratorium, while Coinbase and Robinhood have had to navigate major cryptocurrency volatility. SoFi also used to dabble in a cryptocurrencies, except they recently offloaded that particular segment of their business. 
However, it seems that these companies are trading at a pretty good discount right now, considering that they are trading at relatively low prices, which means that investors should hop on these opportunities. The question is, how much upside do these companies actually have, and can they demonstrate sustained growth and efficiency over the long term? So let's dive straight into their financial prospects, starting out with their revenue and revenue growth rates. To illustrate this, we have a slide on screen here, which goes over their total revenues. And as we see on screen, we see that Coinbase is coming out on top here with total revenues of $2.63 billion, while SoFi is right on their heels of $1.91 billion. And clearly they are all color-coded here on screen if you would like to see them. So overall, the top two players are clearly going to be Coinbase and SoFi Technologies in this regard, while Upstart has actually started a downward trend in their overall trajectory, which is really not good for investors. There's no question that Coinbase is the clear winner here, with their trailing 12-month revenue being the highest, although the revenue has been on a clear decline since quarter one of 2022. On the other hand, we have SoFi and Affirm's revenues, which have a sustained uptrend during the past few years, while Robinhood's revenue is extremely volatile due to its association with cryptocurrency as well as interest rates. But now, let's take a look at Upstart. Upstart has also seen their revenues decline significantly, however, Upstart is the only one who actually carries a negative CAGR within this group, and that is not a good signal for shareholders. Therefore, in this category, Coinbase as well as SoFi Technologies take the cake here. So let's take a quick look at these companies' compounding annual growth rates, which is abbreviated as CAGR, and this is how fast the companies are increasing their revenue percentage gains. Upstart, like we said, is the only one that actually has a negative CAGR, which is not good. While the three highest companies have revenue growth rates between 26% and 37%, to where SoFi, Affirm, and Robinhood come in on top in this regard, while Coinbase and Upstart start would finish last in regards to the revenue CAGR. So in regards to total revenue, we see that Coinbase was number one, then SoFi, and then Affirm and Robinhood essentially tie. But in this regard, we actually see that Affirm is number one, and then Robinhood, and then SoFi Technologies. But what about the gross profit margin? Well, to quote straight from the article, fintech companies tend to be asset light businesses, which expands their high gross profit margin, which is abbreviated as GPM percentages. A higher GPM percentage is better, as this is the percentage of money left over from revenue after subtracting out costs of goods sold. So let's take a look at what company succeeds in this regard. Unsurprisingly, we again have SoFi Technologies and Coinbase as our top contenders here, with a close second place between Upstart and Robinhood, while Affirm actually comes in last in this regard. And honestly, I really like SoFi Technologies' steady uptrend that you can see from this green line here. They are slowly but surely consistently bringing in higher gross profit margin percentages, which is phenomenal news for investors, and that's exactly what we would want to see. So in this regard, again, we see SoFi and Coinbase coming in as the top two. SoFi has shown a strong uptrend in this category for several years, while Coinbase has had the highest GPM within the group at an impressive 85.61%. Meanwhile, Upstart has seen a decline and a decrease in their GPM, which again is not good for investors. And although Upstart does have a higher GPM than Affirm, at least Affirm is still treading water in this respected category. Investors clearly favor companies with a high or rising GPM over other companies. But one of the best metrics that we would want to look at is actually earnings per share. Earnings per share lets investors know if the company is profitable or not. So let's take a look which of these companies succeed, and in this regard, we see SoFi Technologies coming in at number one, which is followed by Robinhood, which would be number two, and then Coinbase would be last on this list. Again, SoFi Technologies just shows their overall prowess in regards to their ability to increase their basic earnings per share. So regarding this metric, we see that SoFi is number one, then Robinhood, then Affirm, then Upstart, and then Coinbase. However, to put this into perspective, all five 
five of these companies have not been profitable over the last 12 months. However, this doesn't automatically mean that these companies are bad investments. To the contrary, stocks are largely valued on their future earnings potential, and that's why we would want to look further into these companies to determine which of these companies are best set to not only reach profitability, but maintain profitability throughout the long term. And I think in that regard, we would have SoFi again coming in at number one, because SoFi leads the group in this category. We also know that professionals, analysts, and experts expect SoFi technologies to break even during quarter four, and we know that they are anticipated to keep their profitability for the long term. Companies want to become profitable without sacrificing their growth, which is a universal goal for all of these companies. And the sooner that they become profitable, the better. So here is a chart on screen about when these companies are anticipated to become profitable and by how much they are anticipated to become profitable. We see SoFi will become profitable in 2024 or during quarter four of 2023 with a gap earnings per share of six cents. Then we have Robinhood, which is anticipated to become profitable in 2024 with a gap EPS of one cent. Coinbase, on the other hand, won't become profitable until 2028. Upstart is not anticipated to become profitable according to analysts until 2026. And then Affirm is the last one to achieve profitability all the way out until 2028. So just based on these companies' financial metrics, how how do they all rank? Upstart Holding is clearly the worst out of this list, coming in at number 5, closely followed by Affirm, which would be number 4. Affirm is going to achieve profitability a lot later than all of these other companies, however their other metrics are much more appealing than Upstart. Next we have the number 2 and 3 spot, which really will depend on the market sentiment surrounding cryptocurrencies, because Coinbase could either be number 1 or number 3 in this overall regard, however we're going to put them as number 3 because that market is just extremely volatile, and we also know that SoFi Technologies used to dabble in crypto while also giving their consumers other investment prospects like stocks, ETFs, mutual funds, and things like that. So then it begs the question, between SoFi and Robinhood, which one is a better company? Well, SoFi actually takes the cake here, because Robinhood actually uses one of SoFi's subsidiaries in their own platform. That means that SoFi is not only more fundamental than Robinhood, but they also offer a lot of other products and services that Robinhood doesn't. Therefore, when we look at all of these financial metrics, we have SoFi Technologies coming in at number one, Robinhood coming in at number two, depending on cryptocurrencies, because Coinbase, again, could be number one, or at least four ahead of Robinhood hood in this regard, but because of the volatility, we're putting Coinbase at number three, Affirm as number four, and Upstart as last. So now let's talk about their overall price targets and price predictions among professionals. SoFi Technologies carries an average price target of around $9.12, while analysts believe this company could either drop to below $3 or surge as high as $15 over the next 12 months. For Robinhood, we have the average price target of $11.65, according to 13 analysts lists, and they have a low-end price target of $9 and a high-end price target of $23. According to professionals, Coinbase has an average price target of $90 per share, with a bearish price target of $35 and a bullish price target of $160 over the next 12 months. Coming over to Affirm, we see that analysts have a $23.44 price target according to 19 experts, with their lowest price target being $6 and their highest price target being $50. $55. And then last but not least, we have Upstart, which carries an average price prediction of $21.67, according to 15 analysts, with their critical price target of $6 and their super positive price target of $42 per share. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about any or all of these companies, but again, my favorite is going to be SoFi Technologies. Now, the companies that are not on this list are companies that I own. I own SoFi Technologies, PayPal, Block, Mercado Libre, as well as Ally Finance. Financial, and those would be the five companies that are my favorite in regards to this segment of the overall financial space. But I would love to hear your thoughts down below on any or all of these companies. Don't forget to go and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment your thoughts down below, and don't forget to become a member of this channel for as little as 99 cents per month because that's what keeps me here on YouTube. With all that being said, I wish you the best of luck, happy investing, and I will see you in the next YT video.